Jordan Tower with JT News. Well, we all saw Soldier Boy and Little Yachty's beef over the weekend. Who knows if it's real or not? Who cares? And then, you know, it got it dragged into Kiki Palmer. Then guns were drawn out. Then people were threatening to kill each other. That seems to have calmed down. Soldier Boy said that's over. Well, Soldier Boy has been talking a lot on Twitter about he's been having label meetings. A lot of labels have been calling. You know, kind of getting the hype up on Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy just dropped that album with uh, Little Bow Wow. That's been long in the running, and that finally happened, okay? They've been going back and forth doing tracks and then having beef with each other over the past, what, six or seven years, okay? Well, they finally did that album together, and Soldier Boy announced he has another album on the way, uh, Real Soldier for Life. I think that drops in like 30 days. You can do pre-orders now. Well, I am I am assuming that Soldier Boy has sold, is signed his major deal now because he unfollowed everybody on Twitter and then he just followed uh, Epic Records and L.A. Reid. So he might be a new addition over there at Epic, you know. And I don't know why he would go this route because, you know, we know Interscope dropped him around the time they signed Chief Keef. And by the way, Soulja Boy brought Chief Keef to Interscope. So that was kind of weird how Interscope did that. Maybe they did him a favor, though, in the long run because, you know, it seems like everything kind of collapsed over there when Jimmy Iovine left Interscope to go over to Apple. That was probably a blessing in disguise. And Soldier Boy made Interscope a lot of money. Uh, anyways, getting on with it. Um, I don't know why Soldier Boy would want to sign a major record deal right now. You can do so much independently now, and he already has a core fan base. I mean, he has like 5 million uh, Twitter followers. I think he has a couple million on Instagram. I mean, if you were just able to sell... <sighs> 50,000, 20 to 50,000 of each item you drop and drop like four or five albums a year, it, you're going to be rich as hell, you know? And all that money's coming to your bank account, you know? But when you sign a major deal, they got to recoup. And, the, you know, maybe he just misses that major push that he sees like, you know, Meek Mill and Drake and everybody getting. And may, maybe he feels like he's missing out on that push. You know, they, they, yeah, but, you know, I don't know, the same producers they be getting, Soulja Boy has access to them. I mean, Soulja Boy worked with a lot of these guys in the beginning, you know, the Zaytovens, you know, the uh, all those type of guys. Metro Boomin, he has access to all this stuff, you know? So I don't know why he wants to sign a major deal. He doesn't need that major push because he's kind of a major push on his own with all his followers and everything. Um, I think the real thing that stops Soulja Boy from moving forward is, you know, uh, we were introduced to Soldier Boy one way, and then, you know, now we're seeing, you know, a lot of drugs and guns and stuff. And I think that's what stops him from moving forward. I think he should, you know, and, and I understand that, you know, like, I'm not, I'm not like trying to fault him for anything. I'm just saying, like, if you just focus on Soldier Boy, screw all the other stuff. And plus, he could get a job at a label. I mean, this guy, uh, found the Migos first. He found Rich the Kid. Um, uh, who else? Uh, what's that guy's name? That the white boy that dresses crazy, uh, Riff Raff, uh, Little B, uh, even Chief Keef. You know, he embraced Chief Keef first, and there's probably many more that I'm not even mentioning. You know, so he's up on the trends, man. So maybe you know, maybe he should move into that executive position. That would be probably better. Yeah, I mean, he's still an artist, but you know, he could do both.